We all enjoy watching a movie where the lead actor takes off his shirt to show muscles. Hollywood knows this and that is why they play shirtless scenes strategically throughout the film to ensure that we keep watching. What comes as a surprise and much the delight of fans is when our favorite actors pose for a magazine that shall not be named in this video. Some Playgirl magazines from the early 1980s. Playgirl? Oh! I don't want YouTube to slap this video with an age restriction like they did with some of my other videos. In this week's video, we take a look at 10 actors who posed for that magazine. Let's get into it. Follow the yellow brick room. Gary Conway is probably best known for his roles in the TV series Burke's Law as well as The Land of Giants. One of his earliest film credits included I Was a Teenage Frankenstein and he also portrayed the monster in How to Make a Monster. You hurt me. But I also fed you. There, it's all over. You want to hurt me some more. From now on, that's just the way it's going to be in this world. The Before venturing into acting, he obtained a degree in theater at UCLA, and he even has a brown belt in karate. What are you doing? We got no more. In 1973, he delighted fans when he posed for the August issue of that magazine, a magazine that shall not be named. I'm just reiterating. Who would have thought that the child actor Steve Bond from 1968's Tarzan and the Jungle Boy would end up posing for that magazine for the 1975 October issue? Only 22 at the time, the fresh-faced Bond was very popular with the readers and I can understand why. He had several roles in films throughout the 70s and 80s, but I think most people remember him from his time as a dancer for the Chippendales. Betty White. I'm also starring the Chippendale Man. Would you believe his bicep is bigger than Skip Stevenson's waist? <laughs> Best known for his role as Sam in the Emmy Award winning series Quantum Leap, Scott Bakula has had a fairly successful career throughout the decades, mostly on TV. He was a hot commodity during the early 90s, appearing in Quantum Leap as well as the sitcom Murphy Brown. And it was during the height of his career that he decided to pose for the March 1995 issue of that magazine, appearing on the cover no less. Do you still have a copy of the March 1995 issue with Scott on the cover? I bet you wish you could do a Quantum Leap back in time to get your copy again. I'm sorry, I know it's a cheesy joke, but I, I couldn't resist. I just had to make it. Please forgive me. Don't, don't be too harsh in the comments. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. A subscription to the channel will not be cheesy. At number seven is former football player Sam J. Jones, who beat out Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kurt Russell for the role in his most famous film, Flash Gordon, which was released in 1980. The film was a success but unfortunately didn't get its own trilogy because Jones had a fallout with the producers. Before making his acting debut in 1979, he appeared in a June 1975 issue under a pseudonym but because of the popularity and the success of the Flash Gordon film, the magazine decided to reprint his photo shoot in 1981, this time featuring his real name. Do you remember bodybuilder turned Chippendale dancer turned actor Ted Pryor? Me neither, but he did have a somewhat successful career back in the 80s. Dance, did I tell you I was having a wonderful day? Even though most of his films are obscure and forgotten today. He started his bodybuilding career at the age of 15 and won the Mr. Maryland Teen Contest and several other titles before he was 19. He appeared in the August 1984 issue and I have to admit, he was damn sexy. I might even go look up some of his old movies now. Bodybuilder turned actor Peter Lupus is probably best known for his role in the TV series Mission Impossible. Just what are you in the mood for? Hmm? You know, I don't know what you want from me. 
You think I'm some sort of a robot? But did you know that he portrayed Superman as well? That is correct. He portrayed Superman in string of commercials for the US Air Force. With a promising career, he took a bit of a gamble when he decided to pose for that magazine, and he made history by being one of the first well-known actors to pose for that magazine. His issue was released in 1974, much to the delight of fans, but unfortunately the US Air Force severed all ties with the actor after the issue was printed. In an attempt to shake off his squeaky clean teen idol image from the 1950s, Fabian Forte starred in several edgy films, including The Devil's Eight. But the singing sensation who once took acting lessons from Leonard Nimoy decided to shake his good guy image once and for all by posing for the September 1974 issue of that magazine. Sadly, readers of the magazine was not impressed by his photo shoot and called him fat and irrelevant. But that didn't stop true Fabian fans from enjoying his issue. Did you own the issue of Fabian Forte? Let me know in the comments. Making his acting debut in the 1988 film The Lady Killers, Scott Lane went on to star in The Bold and the Beautiful as well as Sunset Beach, but he's mostly remembered for being a model and a Chippendale dancer. As if he wasn't hot enough already, he posed for the November 1997 issue, and it was quite a steamy photo shoot of I have to say that myself. I bet you knew that Brad Pitt will make this list, didn't you? No list like this would be complete without Brad Pitt on it. Brad Pitt was one of the biggest stars in the 1990s and was no stranger to the paparazzi. In 1997, Pitt sued the magazine that shall not be named for publishing photos of him with Ari's consent. He was on vacation with his then girlfriend Gwyneth Paltrow when the paparazzi snatched some very intimate photos of him which appeared in that magazine. Needless to say, Pitt won that lawsuit and the photos had to be taken down. Unfortunately, due to moral and um, legal issues, I won't be able to show any of that specific photos. But here's some other photos of Brad Pitt that's equally hot. And our number one spot goes to Christopher Atkins. Good morning. Good morning. Sweetheart, Mommy would like to talk to Peter alone. Could you go in the clubhouse and change? Okay, see you later, Peter. Bye. Have, uh... Have I done something wrong with you? No. Why? 21 at the time, Atkins made the most of his newly found fame by posing for the September 1982 issue of that magazine. Fresh on the heels of the controversial and successful Blue Lagoon, Atkins was approached for a photo shoot and he said, why not? His issue was a smash with readers and fans alike and in my opinion, it also helped him to be ranked as number 76 on VH1's 100 Greatest Teen Stars. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. I post videos every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. For a similar video to this one, click on this link.